Okay, hi, how are we doing today? I wanted to do a quick review on uh, the new Nexus 7. Uh, you can tell the top left-hand corner is kind of black. Uh, that's due to the fact that... Uh, let's try moving this around a little bit. There we go. Uh, the left-hand corner is kind of black. That's due to the case that the Fintech cover does not work right. I kind of wedged the camera or the Nexus 7 in there to get it so it would kind of fit and show the camera through the case but the case is taking over and slowly creeping over that hole like I did my Fente review uh, my computer system is giving me trouble my microphone's not working again since I just rebooted my system and had a complete virus problem over the Christmas holidays um, a little shout out Chris indoor smokers I don't know if he wants me representing them, but I'm good people. Uh, try to be anyway. So, uh, this is my first test with the camera for uh, for uh, the Nexus 7. And I want to find out how much memory it takes, how easy it is to load uh, onto the computer, how long it takes to upload, how big of files they are. Uh, where the files are but I love my Nexus 7 I've got the front firing camera only uh, it's 16 gigs which I wish it was 32 and I wish it had the rear camera but it was a Christmas present and it's wonderful I love it uh, I'm playing with it all the time uh, I'm on my computer during the day and then in the evening I'll wake up at like 3 in the morning and slap on a YouTube video in bed and watch uh, till death like one or two episodes and just uh, watch a little bit of half hour sitcoms and uh, go back to bed uh, I play games at night some of the driving ones are really good real racing uh, asphalt is amazing uh, I have number six adrenaline I'm really enjoying that I hear number eight's the way to go but these asphalt and real racing they take up like a gig to a gig and a half of memory and when you only got 16 gigabytes and you want to do other stuff other than just play games I've got cookbooks on here i've got like 40 games uh half gig games quarter gig games uh megabyte games small ones uh 20 megs or so the clash games are all the problem with the nexus 7 applications from google play and amazon store is that a lot of them are pay me applications which means you start the game, it's all fun and dandy, you go up and level, 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 you got your little city built, and then all of a sudden you're stuck, you're out of moves, you're out of coins, you're out of build time, and your workers are busy building the two buildings that they're building, and you have no coins to do instant build. Uh, so they rip you off just like the Facebook games do. If you hate Facebook games like I do, hate Facebook games. Uh, they're always asking for money, they're always asking you to post uh, they're always popping up with other games. That's the problem with a lot of these games is that a lot of these games will pop up with, do you want to buy this game, other game, or play this other game? And it's like, why would I want to play another game? I'm playing this game. Just work. Don't sell me nothing. Let me play for hours on end and have fun. Uh, instead, i got to buy coins. My workers are busy, so I can't build more than what I already have building because I'm out of coins. Uh and it's just one of those game systems that annoy the hell out of me where I bought Adrenaline 6 as uh, Asphalt uh, Asphalt 6 Adrenaline and that's a non-pay me game that one you could play I don't know if I'm going to be able to play it at the doctors I'll find out this week or next week when I go and uh, that's a you own it game and they don't keep trying to sell you crap. Real racing, they try to sell you stuff constantly throughout the game. Somehow I got a defective download, though, and they started me with 256 million uh, coins. And normally it's like 99 coins is like 10 bucks or a dollar or whatever it costs. So I've got like thousands of dollars worth of free coins on Real Racing. So check that one out real quick and see if you can jump on the bandwagon. And uh, I got 2 million, 200 million coins. I got 200 million tokens. So I am just stocked. I mean, whenever I want instant build, I just hit click. And I don't have to worry about running out of coins. I do not use Facebook to log in. I hate Facebook. 
Facebook is where everybody kisses everybody else's ass, and uh, all these people that you weren't really friends with in high school are your buddies to be when you start up friends, but you don't hear from them anyway, just like in high school, and it's kind of just a waste. I got my 30 friends or so that I talk to, but I mean, there's a lot of people on there I dropped or I didn't like, and people trying to contact me that were really backstabbers back in high school, but now all of a sudden they want to be buddies. Why, because we're all older? It's like you were assholes in high school. Why would I want to be friends with you now? Um, but, uh, I mean, what happened to good old letters? Sitting back and writing a letter to someone you cared about and waiting for a response. I mean, that's that's good interaction. But anyway, I'm getting older. These kids got 3,000 friends. I mean, I thought I was doing pretty good with 30 or so. But, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, they know all these people. I mean, uh, it's just kind of weird, if you ask me. I mean, what are they? Hey, buddies with everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. You know, it's like, okay, good for you guys, you know. <laughs> we got troops in every country. Obviously, you guys aren't all that great because you're the ones sending them out there. Not, well, actually, it's probably the older people. I can't blame the kids. Kids are smart. Good. I wish them the best. Uh, but I love my Nexus 7. Uh, the games are kind of annoying, like I said, with that retrospect. you got to find the few that are good. Plants and Zombies is great. I downloaded that for $0.99, cents, the Wi-Fi version, off of Google Play. Uh, App of the Day is pretty good off of Amazon. Once you get the Amazon application installed on your Nexus, you can do it right from your Nexus. You don't have to do it on your computer and then uh, sync with the Nexus. Uh, sync with the Nexus. You can just do it right on your Nexus. And uh, sometimes these programs offer multiple apps. Like for Christmas, I got a whole bunch of apps for free. Uh, the clock, the alarm clock that I wanted, the cost $1.99. But I didn't want to spend any money. I'm kind of poor and stuff. So, I mean, I do okay. But, I mean, don't have that kind of money to just start flinging around a dollar, two dollars here and there constantly. Where next thing you know, you just spent 14 bucks, and that's a bottle of e-juice or something. You know, it's spend it where you need it and just try to keep the cycle going every month um so uh the nexus is a wonderful touchscreen uh really smooth to use uh having fun with it it's responsive if the program is responsive if your touchscreen's not working odds are you're using a crap program because the keyboard for typing works every time every time you type something in the keyboard is responsive which means that that touch screen is working. And then when you get to these games and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're trying to find the spot which allows you to move on, once again, you think they just highlight something with a little flashlight color or something where it's bright and you knew what button to push next if it was that complicated. But uh, the screen seems like it's frozen sometimes, but it's not. It's just finding the right spot to push and so you can move on. Usually there's always a stupid spot on there. It's the spot you least expect to because you're working on a game screen next thing you know you got to push something in the corner and it's like to open up a letter that was sent to you to let you know that you claim free rewards now and uh anyway so uh the nexus is a wonderful product uh it's super high end uh when you get it you're like wow this is nice this is i got a big screen tv for christmas and i got an elect uh, nexus and uh, getting a Vikings blanket, Dad sending me some birthday money, so I'm having having a great Christmas uh, all the way around. Uh, just really scored a lot of good stuff. A Raku player, I uh, got my Netflix going on that. Uh, everything's high definition. I think this has some high definition hookup or something. Not sure about that though. But uh, Writing is a little difficult with the keyboard when you're writing because it's such a small keyboard. Usually I go in horizon, which means horizontal, like I have a right now mode. And then you could type a little easier because the keyboard's bigger than if you're in vertical, which is tall up and down like a book view. Uh, Kindle Fire kind of sucks on it. So if you're getting it for Kindle Fire, you might be upset with the Google Play books. Excuse me. Uh, the Google Play books are really good. Uh, Kindle Fire, the comic books, wouldn't open. They'd open, but all you would see is a standard size page. You couldn't open it to read it. You double tap it, you slide it like that. 
like that, crush your head, and crush your head, like that, and it wouldn't open to a readable size, it was more frustration than it was worth, the pages would flick by real quick, and it's like, wait a minute, I didn't finish, I accidentally just touched the screen a little bit, and the pages are flying by, and it's opening and closing for the books, and it's like, you know what, but the Google books work really nice, uh, you fling your page, and open it goes, just fluent, very fluent. So I'm uh, not too happy with Kindle Fire. Uh, Google offers a ton of free books. So when you buy it, you could get Great Gatsby, Huckleberry Finn, H.G. Wells' Time Machine, uh, Frankenstein, um, tons of books, tons of classics, which is something that I wanted. I buy off of Better World Books, and I was just really ecstatic that I got all these books for free that I wanted to buy because I'm like in Stephen King and Vampire Diaries and Halo. Keep the stupid computer going, even though it's kind of useless half the time. Um, so, uh, I mean, it really is a great unit. I got nothing but good to say about it. Uh, the Fintech case kind of sucks. It inhibits features, such as the camera. Top left-hand corner, you can tell. Right now, I haven't touched it, so it hasn't covered the camera. But when you're moving it around, it's going to eventually cover that camera all the way over. Um just upsetting case because it's such a nice unit you want to protect it that's what i meant by it's nice it's high end when you feel it it's really just a beautifully sleek elegant uh shiny when the screen's clean <laughs> and that's a tough thing to do i use a little bit of windex on a spray rag uh what do you call them one of those microfibers and uh just spray just a little splash just enough to wipe that screen down because i haven't had the money to pick up a big bottle of lens cleaner for the TV and the, this thing and uh, checked it on a site. Some people, it's glass, clean it with Windex. No, you don't want to do that. Clean it with water. No, you definitely don't want to do that. Buy the spray cleaner. Yeah, but you got to get the stuff without ammonia. And without, it's like, okay. So, you know, I mean, it's, it, they get kind of ridiculous where you think if it was such a big concern, you pick up some lens cleaner. Same stuff you use for glasses, or that they recommend for plasma TVs, and you should be good to go. Um, at least that's what I checked with the TV company when I got my new 39-inch uh, Vizio. And they said any recommended spray cleaner will keep you within your warranty. So I'm guessing the same would go for this. This is glass, it's not a plastic shell, but it should be the same. Glasses are usually made of glass, so... A nice solvent that's non abrasive and non uh, non corrosive should be fine. Um, the volume is pretty good on uh, the single camera mo model, which I have. Uh, it's a speaker on the top le uh, bottom or left hand side, and when you hold your hand over it, it gives a stereo effect, it kind of booms the sound right back at you. So, uh, with the case, it's a little different, but when you're holding it without the case. The sound gets reflected back at you. It's pretty loud. Uh, there's enough memory to get a whole bunch of crap on there. I got a whole bunch on on here. I got a whole bunch of seasons of Renegade off of YouTube. You use TubeMate, and TubeMate's a great program to download YouTube uh, videos um, and TV shows. So uh, I'm just keeping my hand warm. Looks like I'm scratching my nuts or something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, TubeMate's great. I recommend it. I got Renegade Season 1, 1 through 8 episodes, uh, the first episode through the 8th episode, so that way when I go places, uh, I can live without my Wi-Fi. I've got the books, I've got uh, Asphalt Racing, and I've got Bird Tweety. Bird just splashed me from like 3 feet away, taking a bath, and I could actually show you probably... That's my bird set up. And uh, hopefully in 2014 I'll lose some of this weight. I'm up to 257, 256. I gotta get back down to 177. I used to wrestle 119, 128, and 132 in high school. Boy, body changes when you get old. Uh, at least mine did. <laughs> so, uh, alright, this is about as long as I want to make this video. It is a test video. I've only got a gig and a half open.
Once again, if you're into e-cigarettes, check out indoorsmokers.com or Indoor Smokers on YouTube. Uh, Epic e-cig reviews on YouTube and uh, Epic re Epic Review Guys uh, does great uh, review videos and they'll actually take requests. They'll review some of the most popular items out there, the Furbies, the Loom, and uh, that's Chris and his brother Harris. And I watch them constantly, so I try to give a shout-out to a good family company. Chris could go a little wild with what he'll say. He'll call you a bitch all the time. But, I mean, he doesn't mean nothing by it. And Harris is real clean-cut. He's a good family video channel for YouTube that you could have on with the kids watching. Uh, he does a lot of reviews with his daughter. And, uh, as I said, he's real clean-cut. So, Chris is clean-cut, too. But he's got the Epic Rever Review channel where uh, he's smoking herbs at the end of the night. And that one I had to drop out of because I don't do that stuff. So, uh, clean and sober, five years. Uh, so I kind of dropped that one, but otherwise, uh, good channels to check out, and, uh, this is 16 minutes long, hopefully the sound is good, and you get an idea of what you can do with the Nexus 7, uh, for the video, uh, aspect of it. It does not come with the camera application for the first generation Nexus with front-facing camera only. Uh, you have to download that application. It comes with the application, but it's what they call a hidden application. You're not going to find it, so you have to go to Google and download the Nexus camera app. And uh, then you'll be able to access this front camera and uh, the regular camera. It's a pain in the ass to use a regular camera. Uh, I've used it, and not being able to see what you're doing is really hard on you. You got to stare around, and it's it's not easy. So I don't know how much you shall get out of that. But hopefully, this front-facing camera will be the new way I do YouTube videos, and uh, hopefully, we'll be doing some more e-cigarette reviews. Uh, here's a little shout out, Kanger, Kanger, uh, 1.5 ohm coils from Fast Tech are garbage. Beware of them, uh, having major problems with them, uh, burning and just not being even lasting two days, only being able to use three volts. Uh, so uh, anyway, this is on the Nexus, trying to think of what else I could throw in here for you. Um, wonderful Christmas gift if you get it for somebody. Uh, you're able to access tons of stuff with the Wi-Fi, uh, YouTube video stream fluently, uh, Barely any lag. I've heard that after six months, these things slow down so much that people give them to the kids. Uh, I got the one-year warranty. If it craps out on me uh, with Square Trade, uh, I'll be able to trade it in and uh, make sure and get another one or upgrade to the newer one. Depending on, I, I barely use my Square Trade warranties. I take care of my stuff. Uh, try to. Anyway, you know, everybody drops something or spills something on the table, and there goes the laptop or whatever they got sitting there, camera, e-cig. So, uh, camera's on the left side. I keep looking to the right side, probably because there's a big red square over there. It looks like a diver square of some sort of... Anyway, and, uh... Uh, the picture looks really clear to me from what I'm seeing off of off of the tablet right now. Uh, it seems to be getting a good area of me. So uh, I don't know how the microphone's going to work. Hopefully it's really decent compared to this crap computer setup I got. And my microphone's not working. So the good sound that I was getting on my new videos and I was really starting to get up there with views and uh, people watching it for more than just a minute. Um... Hopefully, this will replace it, and I'll be able to walk around and do some better views of stuff like uh, showing off the TV, uh, maybe a weight bench off Amazon, uh, stuff that's out there, flashlight, uh, oop, blocking the camera. We got the, what do you call it, CSI Nebo flashlight, I already did a review on that. And, uh, alright, so holding it's kind of different. You see my fish tank, all my e juice in the back there. I don't think this is zoomable. I'll try touching the screen. But this is a real long video. Um, 
I highly recommend the Nexus 7. I was going to get a $70 uh, tablet, and my dad said, tell you what, I'll get you this. And uh, he jumped up and laid out some bucks and got me this instead. Uh, the $70 tablet had a rear-facing camera, which would have been nice, but he said he's going to give me his iPhone uh, in a couple months and get the new 5S. Or They're coming out with a new iPhone, not the 5S or the 5 whatever, but another one, and uh, he might pick up that one and give me his one-year-old 4S that he paid 400 or some ridiculous amount for. Who knows? Dad has money. I don't. <laughs> or has more money than I do. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, this would be great for the kids, uh, adults, uh, older people looking to video chat maybe with the grandchildren. Uh, all the way across the board, this would make a wonderful gift and is great. You can see this on the top left that the screen is slowly getting I moved it around a little bit and now even more of the cameras getting blocked so that is one of the problems with the Fente uh, as for other applications uh, they have wonderful weather applications uh, alarm clocks uh, the battery life is 10 hours 8 to 10 uh, depending on your screen brightness, uh, your Wi-Fi, how far it is from your tablet, and how much it has to strain to get that Wi-Fi, and depending on your GPS, if you're constantly using GPS. Um, so, uh, all right, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna upload this, and we'll find out if it takes an hour to upload a 20-minute video, and uh, what size file this became. I had 1.6 available when I stopped, and uh, I have nothing but good to say about the Nexus 7, uh, whether you get the front and rear facing or you get the single camera, uh, this is a good example of what you can do with it. And uh, uh, As I said, if I could recommend something, I'd recommend getting the 32 gig model, but that's so expensive. I got a couple of sky drives and uh, uh, they kind of suck. You can put stuff on them, but it's, one of them is difficult to access at all. Uh, I could do stuff on my computer and then access it through my Nexus, and the other one I can access on the Nexus, and uh, I think that's Skybox or something, and uh, I could actually load songs and movies onto that uh, right on the Nexus, and then delete them off of here on the Nexus, but then I can't watch them without Wi-Fi. So it kind of defeats the point. Uh, and upload times for sky drives, uh, for cloud drives, is ridiculous. Oh, well, out of memory. Or something beeped. Uh, the upload times are ridiculous. Uh, like a gig or less than a gig will take you like an hour or something. I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, uh, thanks a lot. Happy watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to know. And... Uh, and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody.